Today I'm going to review the Star Wars The Black Series Armorer figure from the Credit Collection. This is the first figure that I've gotten from that line and from what I understand the colors are a little bit different and they're based off the concept art of the show or something like that. In terms of articulation, she has articulation in the head. It's kind of limited because of the head mold underneath. Can you see that? Kind of like how the Boba Fett figure was where the uh, helmet is on top of a, a head that hasn't been painted. So I kind of wish the head was its own mold, kind of like how it was with those first few figures of the Mandalorians. But anyway, there is articulation in the arms, in the elbows, in the shoulders, in the wrists, in the hips, in the top of the legs. Hang on and the knees, Hang on, let me get the camera to focus, and the knees, although they're a little bit stiff, which I don't have a problem with because I do want these to be able to stand up really good, and then in the feet. So that is a pretty good amount of articulation, I think. In terms of detail, I think this one is very good. You can see like the little pieces of dirt and mud and stuff on, on the armor, and hang on, let me take this piece off. You can see she has the uh, big fur coat thing on the back that comes off as a separate piece and you just stick a little peg in and right now I'll take that off because it comes off when you move the arms a lot but you can see there's detail on the back of the fabric and let me see if I can get this to focus in on the texturing on this one because this one has some really good texturing and like the fabric where you can see all the seams and things like that. This one is like a really detailed figure. Like even around here, you can see where it's like a leathery material. And it actually feels like that too. This one feels really good. And that same kind of material is like on the books. And overall, the texturing on this figure, I think, is one of the best I've seen. Where where the character actually feels like what you think they would in the show if you were to uh, like feel the materials. I do think my figure has some scratches right here on the paint. As you can see, those two places... I don't think that's intentional, but I don't mind too much, being that this is supposed to be a battle-damaged character anyway. But you can see, other than that, all the paint on this figure looks really good, I think. I actually don't have the uh, the main release version, and I found the uh, credit collection version on sale. But I think I might actually like this one better than the uh, main one that they released. You get two tools for her to use, the hammer right here and the tweezers, which if you take these out, you can actually use them like this, which is kind of cool. In terms of accessories for the figure, you get the uh, the fur cloak thing that goes on her back. You also get a jetpack, which, hang on, let me get the figure out, doesn't really connect on there very good. Actually, I don't even think it does at all because she doesn't have the place for it. Yeah, I haven't even tried that before. But yeah, that jetpack wouldn't work on this figure, so that's kind of a disappointment. But then again, I don't think anybody would be putting the jetpack on anyway. they just use this unless you're trying to recreate the, uh, the finale of season three. You also get a credit bar or a Biscar bar. I really don't know what this is, but it's included with it. So I guess that's kind of cool. Overall, I think this is a very good figure with lots of detail and has a pretty good price point for what you get. And a lot of times I see this one on sale for like $12 anyway. So if you can find her for that price, then that's a good deal. So thank you for watching and goodbye.